threw some more. <laughs> I just threw in some more uh, aluminum disposable cooking pans. So it's reacting to that. Once that burns down and settles down in the bottom of the pot, she'll clear right up. See? See it clearing up? No more machine gun effect. Now I'm going to probably be throwing that, uh, let's see, there's that orange bucket in the, in the view. Oh, I was a little low. All right, now, there. Sorry about that, I was, I was talking and you weren't seeing. Okay, the orange bucket on the left there, that's all soda cans, and you can just barely see the outline on the left, right there. That's a garbage, big garbage can full of aluminum cans. Those, I will probably use that whole red bucket and more. And that's including the ingots I've already thrown in. Now, this furnace, being the size it is, will take two to two and a half hours from preheat to pouring the mold. So we've got a good hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes yet to go. And in during all this heating up, I gotta keep adding more and more aluminum as it melts down and then skim off the slag whenever possible. Slag acts as an insulator. It don't transmit the heat. So you gotta get the slag off so the fire heats your pot of aluminum. If you leave too much slag in the top, you're gonna be sitting here for another hour and a half waiting for the aluminum to melt. So every time you load it up, maybe two, three times full of aluminum cans, let it cook for five, 10 minutes, then get your spoon and skim out the slag, then load it up again with more cans or aluminum castings or whatever you have. Cook it for another five, 10 minutes. Remember to stir. Stirring is what brings the, the slag and the, and the uh, dross, I think they call it, up to the surface. You got to get it up to the surface, skim it out, then reload more and more aluminum. You bring the aluminum level as high as you think you need for a casting plus a little bit extra. Always melt more than what you think you need. But uh, if you're going to do multiple castings or, or a real big casting or something, you can fill your furnace with pure aluminum all the way to the bottom of your pour spout. That can be all pure aluminum. Now, once you get your stirring and you get the slag out and you're bringing it up to the top and you get it up there, all right? Now, you've got to add table salt, rock salt, throw it in, stir like crazy. It's gonna boil, it's gonna bubble, it's gonna flame like, uh, like you know what. And that salt is like a flux. That'll make the aluminum flow better. Now, once you have that, you've gotta let it cook for a good 15, 20 minutes. Go in, stir it up again. Now comes the degasser. You take your baking soda, wrapped in aluminum foil, two tablespoons, two tablespoons baking soda. 
wrapped in aluminum foil. I stick it inside that tube, jam it all the way to the bottom of your pot. No, oh, yeah. Now, you, now that you're you're ready, you turn off your your burner, pull the burner out, put it off to the side. Open your lid, put your degauss gasser in there, put it all the way to the bottom, and then stir. Now, when you're done, pull it out, wrap it off on the side of a building or a uh, brick or something, but do not wrap it off on the side of your furnace. Now, you're, you'll see a little more um, dross or slide come to the top. Skim that off, and now you're ready to pour. If you can go to the bottom of the pot and stir with no lumps, no obstacles, no jumping around, hitting hard spots, you're ready to pour. If you do, if you're hitting lumps or, or something down inside there, that is not up to temperature. You have to make sure it gets up to temperature. So close it up. Restart your burner, and if it, that furnace is red hot like that, all you gotta do is stick the burner back in, turn the valve on, and it'll self ignite. Cook it another 10 15 minutes. Get in there with your spoon, check it for lumps, check it for slag. Once, there, and once it's smooth and creamy and shiny like a hot solder, you're ready to pour. Now I'm going to pause the video because we've got about another hour and a half of cooking and filling and skimming to do. I'll be back.